Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge outdoor flush mount called the Province. This is the 365650. So um, Hubbardton Forge doesn't have a tremendous amount of flush mounts that can go outside. This is an excellent one because beautiful design, very flush, provides a lot of light. Let's get into it. So this is 4.7 inches from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture itself. Diameter is going to be 14.5 inches in diameter. Uh, a great way for you to see a lot of the details on this, if you're on our website on this fixture, go over on the right-hand side of the screen under the pull-down menus where it says choose your finish. Scroll down a little bit and you're going to see a hyperlink. It's going to say click here for installations, instructions, PDF. Click on that for me. That's going to give you a couple pages that are the installations instructions that will be in the box, but they show you how this goes on to your 4-inch junction box that you guys have in the ceiling. shows you how the sockets are lined up. They're kind of like uh, that, more or less, side by side. Uh, it's going to show you lots of details. So it's a good thing to, for you guys to look at. Let's talk about what's inside. So uh, this is going to be using two medium base porcelain sockets like this. Just a good old-fashioned screw-in light bulb. The size on this is going to be a little smaller than a traditional A19 because of the two bulbs getting in there. So the recommended size of the bulb is called an A15. So it's a little smaller. It'll just tell you on the box. So look for an A15 bulb. You'll notice that it's that size. And beyond that, why don't we talk about um, what you can put into it. So you can put in two 60-watt incandescent a15s and when they cap you at 2 60 watts that's because of the heat generated by those two incandescent bulbs if you guys want to go LED and this is actually an LED these are the phosphorus LEDs they are a little different than the older ones that you guys have been seeing <clears throat> uh, these are basically mostly going to max out at 60 watt equivalent um, if you can find an A15 that has more lumens coming out of it so if it says like a 75 watt equivalent or 100 watt, watt equivalent grab it. It's a great thing to do. Um, I haven't done a lot of research on that, but I know that uh, they're getting more powerful as technology goes on. So LEDs are your friend. And there's really no limit other than the, the size of the ball being an A15, two of them, that go into this fixture. So if you have the opportunity to go higher and it says like it's a 4 watt or 5 watt or 6 watt, not a problem at all. So let's talk about some other stuff. Um, if you guys are doing California Title 24 compliancy and they're requiring to use for you to use a GU24 socket, which is this socket setup, I'll have it on the screen next to me, the bulb anyway, <clears throat> um, just contact me for that. So that's going to be a special order, but we do that kind of stuff a lot. Not a big deal. Let's talk about glass. So this is going to be using Hubbardton Forge's glass called Opal, which is a white glass, so it just makes a nice neutral presentation. It's not going to be competing with the design of the fixture. Let's a lot of light out, which is good too. Um, after that, let's talk about what this is made out of. So Hubbardton Forge only uses aircraft grade aluminum to make their outdoor fixtures because aluminum holds up better than any other material in the world outside in extreme weather. Lots of all airliners, all those jet airliners and airplanes you see flying around are made out of aluminum because it's strong it's, and it's incredibly durable and light. So that's why Hubbardton uses it. And then on top of that, they've developed these powder coat finishes that are baked on uh, epoxy enamels. And you can see a picture of the, the person next to me. And what she's doing, she, there's a fixture that's wired up. So it has a little bit of electricity coming into it. Makes it kind of like, a, you know, like static electricity attracts things. Same kind of idea. So they're shooting with a gun these little particles of finish. And they adhere to the whole thing. They go into every crack, every crevice, the back, the front, the top, the bottom, and, the, and it just makes a big shell on top. That goes into an oven where all of that's baked and becomes a hard shell, epoxy enamel, powder coat, and makes these things virtually indestructible. So, you know, what you're paying for is the fact that you're never going to be replacing these again. Hubbardton has a limited lifetime warranty, which you'll be able to see on our, our page here. Or if you want to go over to their website, scoot down to the bottom, you'll see a hyperlink there. Residential use only, but it really shows you you're never going to have to replace these again. So it's, a, it's an awesome thing. Uh, moving on from there, let's talk about the, the finished colors you can get this in. On our website, on the left-hand side of your screen, in the red tabs, there's a Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. There's a video at the top that's really about indoor fixtures, but if you scroll down, you're going to see that chart of new coastal outdoor finishes. And they're called coastal because they were developed for harsh 
wind-driven, salty uh, salt water coming at these things with a hurricane. So, you know, if, if it can get through that, it can get through your house in Ohio. Um, so anyway, moving on from there, those are the colors that you're going to be able to get. They're rather beautiful. And um, there you go. So we have this on display on the first floor of our showroom. You can see what we have on display in the left-hand side of your screen in the red tabs is a What's on Display page. We have over 350 Hubberton Forge fixtures here for you to see. Showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call 802-446-2400. You can email us at sales at handmadeinvermont.com and we spell out that word Vermont. And um, in addition to um, our showroom, we have a clearance center here too. So clearance center stuff is 75% uh, off MSRP, showroom samples, discontinued stuff, and returns. It changes every day because we're the biggest Hubberton dealer. So and we sell so much product. A little bit will come back. That's where it goes. You have to come here to use it, so kind of keep that in mind. When you buy your Hubberton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if it comes... Uh, goes out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Some larger items do not come back. We'll always tell you about that ahead of time on the page. And we also offer a rush program. So no dealer stocks Hubberton Forge regardless of what they tell you. Hubberton doesn't stock any Hubberton Forge. Everything is made to order. Generally takes three to four weeks in production time before your transit time. We can cut that in, in half and it's really inexpensive. So just drop me a quick email or call about that and I can fill you in. So that kind of covers everything. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye.